Africa's brain drain is hampering the continent's ability to realize its economic potential and many skilled Africans are leaving the continent for better opportunities abroad. But one organization, the Landmark Development Initiative, helps African businesses and non-profits by tapping the talents and skills of the African diaspora in the United States and around the world. LDI also recruits skilled people in Africa to contribute to organizations on the continent. And joining us in the studio is the founder and CEO of LDI Africa, Benga Ogujimi. Benga, welcome to Africa 54. Thanks for having me. I'm just wondering in terms of demand and supply, what kind of skills, you know, uh, African businesses and even non-profit organizations are asking for and how you're able to meet uh, this uh, demand? Well, first and foremost, African organizations are also part of the global economy. So the top three overarching skills are leadership, cross-cultural competency, as well as collaboration. In terms of the individual organization, there are varying skill sets that they require. But ultimately, the mission of LDI is to help this organization to uh, collaborate on a much more global scale. So we foster those three skill sets for them to be more competitive. And one of the most talked about issues here, uh, Benga, is about the brain drain from the continent of Africa. And I'm thinking most of these professionals return home, most of them, not all of them, mm -hmm. after they complete their stint. But how do you provide kind of a long-term solution for this brain drain problem uh, from Africa? Well, according to Jakarta Partners, a private equity firm, 70% of African diaspora MBAs are now returning home into African businesses to start or join existing businesses. The way we're doing that is tapping into existing service, volunteer service program in Nigeria. It's called the National Youth Service Scheme. And that is why we have the LD Africa Fellowship providing pro bono consulting opportunities at an immediate opportunity. And then we connect them to longer term career or entrepreneurship opportunities on the continent. And LDI also does provide scholarships uh, to some of these uh, African uh, skilled professionals. And a lot of people would want to know how they can acquire such uh, scholarships. Please tell us a little more. Absolutely. We do have a fellowship program called the Emerging Institutions Fellowship Program. It's a year-long paid fellowship opportunity uh, that covers the reloc relocation as well as compensation for those who go through the program to serve on the continent. While they are serving, we help negotiate long-term employment opportunities as well as entrepreneurship opportunities on the continent. This program are funded um, and also cover the cost of the participant to participate. So we encourage diaspora as well as young global talents around the world to apply for these opportunities. So now, Benga, when you think about it, uh, we as Africans from the continent and such skilled youthful people can form their own Silicon Valley right back in the continent of Africa. But one of the challenges you hear from time to time is that Africa is not powered. There's no electricity here and there. And that has been a challenge. How do you uh, counter that? Well, in addition to in the position organizations in Africa now have to access more financial resources, the way we come into that mix is to provide human capital uh, to supplement or complement the finance resources that they have. Technology is being utilized now to fast track development. So we see a lot of opportunities in the tech industry and uh, now investors overseas are now increasingly targeting African startups to inject capital into them. The way we be a part of the ecosystem is to provide these fellows opportunity with the startup organization to help bring a human capital skill development to help this organization to reach scale. So what is the age bracket here and are we gender balanced? Yes, we are. Majority of our fellows are actually women and um, largely they are in the mid-professional stage uh, between 25 to 35, uh, but the profile of the LD Africa fellow, they have two to 10 years of experience and um, they interested in looking for long-term opportunities on the continent. So it's open to um, a lot of age demographic to be a part of it, but largely the people who largely attract are in the mid-level in their career stage. All right, Benga, thank you very much.